Good morning. It's Merritt with Apteros Trading. What a time to be alive. What a time to be trading here. Um, really awesome stuff. Make sure we're on the right day here. So this is the S&P 500 futures. We'll start with yesterday, October the 5th. You know, we were we were bullish this market. Um, had a bull zone below. We had two key neutral but very important levels, which we highlighted in yellow for you. And then we had this, as I put on Twitter, key, key, key level up here, which is a bear zone, 43.60. Um, as you can see, it played out pretty nicely. We got above the first critical area. Got a little pullback. I know there was a conflict for some. We had, uh, I think it was PMI being released around that time. So some people didn't take the trade. Some people did. It's up to you. I, I get it either way. From there, we rip straight up to the next important level. We get above it. We get one pullback. We get two pullbacks. And then we finish into high of day into the critical 4360. From there, the writing was on the wall. The order flow had really shifted during this section buyer's not really that aggressive and we you know revert to VWAP sell off into the close pretty great day overnight we sell off back down here and that leads us to the hard right edge so let me pause the video I'll adjust levels for today and we'll talk about it all right so here we are we have a bear zone 4312 we have this cluster of neutral areas which which we've been running into uh, which I am absolutely losing faith in them being able to continue to support us if the sellers decide to, to ram us down in there again I it's just uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know one of the most important things in my mind right now is that the S&P is staring down the edge of a cliff it really really is you know it's kind of a if we were to really zoom out, if you were to look at some profiles and, and, and you know, maybe a, a chart of the past several days, um, it's, it's these general lows that have been holding anywhere from, you know, 62 up to more recently 72. So if, if, if that general area, we start to crack into these, these neutral references here, this market could zip to close to, you know, 4150 right that's a long ways down guys that's a long ways down so um, I think most of you know I've been bullish and uh, continue to have a bullish position but uh, it that's certainly a place where I will be uh, putting on a hedge getting rid of you know any kind of Delta exposure and whatnot um, so we have a, a, a bearish reference here this is a, a, a good spot if you want to initiate short um, and kind of perhaps even be in for that ultimate crack. Um, if that does happen, that's a good spot to look for it. You know, another th way to look at this bear zone here is if you are trying to get it into a long or add to a long or whatnot, if we can hold above here, that's a good spot to do it. So I like 43.12 early. Um, I even like a pullback into 4285 if we can hold this area it's it's a spot you can get long from i've downgraded it to neutral at this point as i said i'm i'm getting weary of of knocking on the door of these lows and what could happen there um, but this is a spot where i'll still look to initiate some long uh positions um 4285 or if we hold above 4312 still got this really important level here at 45 and then the bear zone into 4360 again. Uh, anything breaking and holding above 4360 is going to be absolutely all clear. You know, super, super bullish. Super bullish if we're able to do that. So we've got some kind of in-between stuff here. In between 4285 and 4360. But then if we push beyond those, those two extremes... I am either very, very bearish or very, very bullish, uh, depending on which, which way we go. All right. Hope that helps. Let's go have a good day.